Northwest Lost Sales. Hey everyone, Mike at Northwest Bus Sales here, and today we're going to check out this 2001 Bluebird All-American 81 passenger, 14 row school bus. Um, I'm pretty excited to show you. It's a nice older bus, and uh, let's take a look. We got Jack behind the camera, doing an awesome job as always. So walking up to the front of this bus here, this is the classic Bluebird All-American uh, front end on it that we all love uh, Pretty good shape paints in pretty pretty decent shape for the age. It's got some miles on it a few rock chips, but uh, um, it's, Overall it's in great shape. No dents or anything um, Glass is looking good. I don't see any rock chips in that windshield So moving on in here uh, typical school bus bifold air air powered doors uh, a little bit of wear and tear on the, on the entry steps, but not too bad. Stepping on in behind the wheel here. Um, let's see here. This this bus, um, the odometer is not working. Um, it does have a hub meter on there. Do you recall the miles on this, Jack? No, I'm gonna show it. So I'll show the hub meter here in a second, but. Um, uh, we can't verify when that hub meter was installed, but um, that gives us a pretty good indication of the miles probably, along with the wear and tear of the cosmetics of it. Um, it does run great, it does present well for an older bus, but we'll go ahead and check it out. So, got the classic, I love these, these are the classic push-pull switches. You've got your separate clearance light switch here to, you know, if you're driving down the road at night and somebody lets you in on the lane, you can kind of give them flashing the old clearance lights like truckers do. That's kind of cool. Um, nice little armrest right here. I kind of like the older interiors personally, but uh, steering wheels go, you know, it's it's not bad. It's got a little bit of the groove, the, not the grooves, but the texture's a bit worn away. So yeah, I would probably say this bus has around you know, 200,000 miles or so just by looking at that. Um, the high idle switch currently is not working. So FYI on that. Uh, we can check into that if need be. I will say though, there is a little bit of idle fluctuation available though with this uh, switch here. I'm not sure if you can pick it up on the camera, but it's idling down now. It's probably right about that's as low as it goes, about you know 55 or 550 RPM or so, and it'll raise up onto about 900 by just adjusting that. Um, yeah, city horn. Uh, this bus has an awesome feature. Check this out. See if anyone jumped out there. <laughs> Anyways, gotta love the air horn. Gotta love it. Uh, it does have a stereo up here. It's It could use some help. The volume doesn't quite work like it's supposed to. Um, there is an external speaker uh, switch, but it doesn't appear to be working or we can't really test it because the volume simply can't go up enough. But we can get that, uh, that stereo replaced for you if need be, just let us know. Um, we'll let Jack give you a quick look at the seat here. Uh, not too bad at all. Uh, fairly good shape. No real rips or cuts or tears. A little stitching over here and a little bit of wear here where you, the driver slides in and out. Um, this is an air ride driver seat. Um, so definitely helps out in the bumps. Uh, moving on back here. Um, the ceiling is the old school style, just solid, non-acoustic, but um, still pretty nice though. Kind of gives you the classic look. Um, if you want to paint these, you know, it looks, looks pretty cool on the schoolie projects. Um, I think we're at six foot two headrooms. I know if I'm, Eric always makes fun of me, but I'll have to say I'm six four, and I'm, I'm probably, uh, you know, here I am standing at six foot four right here. So it's got about six foot two, I believe, on the ceiling height for you schoolie uh, conversion folks. Um, if you are going to use it for a bus, though, the seats actually aren't in too bad a shape. There's, there is some some uh, repairs here and there, typical of a school bus. But uh, if you need those looking tip-top, let us know. We can help you out with that for sure. The repair right here. Uh, but the floor, the floor feels nice under my feet. I don't feel uh, soft spots or nothing like that going on. Um, sometimes on on buses due to having plywood subfloors you know 
you can get some plywood issues, whether the plies are separating or, or get some water intrusion and it gets soft after that. So this bus doesn't have any of that going on that I can really feel. Um, typical school bus, yeah, just lights going down the roof or the ceiling on the inside and uh, the speaker zigzag. Um, this does have two emergency exits in the roof, uh, two uh, side emergency exits, one on the uh, passenger side towards the back and then one here about a midship on the driver's side. Um, roof vent right here or a fan. Always a nice feature. I think that's about it inside here Jack. Let's go ahead and go on outside and take a walk around the bus. I'm excited to show you guys a couple of really neat things here in a second. But uh, first off, front front uh, passenger side tire Michelin uh, very good tread on that tire a lot of miles left in that tire there Jack will give you a shot under the bus this did come from the local school district and if you watch our videos you'll hear us say every time we don't salt the roads around here so no no major rust rot any of that nasty stuff here uh, fuel fill right here these buses normally take, it seems like 60 or 100 gallons. Uh, I'm not, they normally have a label on it too. This one doesn't, so I'm not sure I'm, what the fuel capacity is, but uh, uh, we could probably look at the tank if need be and try to get some dimensions on it. Figure the volume out. Here's a little storage area. Put like your tire chains or some extra spare fluids there if need be. Um, underfloor storage pass-through always an awesome feature no matter what you're going to do with this bus if you don't need it it's there but if you need it then then you need it you can you can put your tanks and stuff in there if you're going to be doing an rv conversion um yeah pretty good condition now one of the awesome features of this bus check out these rear tires they're bridge stones check out the meat on those that's a good all-terrain tread pattern you know um, it'll certainly help out in deep snow mud rough terrain if that's what your plans are and I sure hope they are because that's a lot more fun than, than freeway driving <laughs> we'll show the uh, hub meter there uh, 192,132 miles on that Battery, 8D battery in there. Check that out. Give you a shot of the, the next surprise on this bus. Pleasant surprise, I should say. 8.3 liter Cummins ISC. This is 260 horsepower rating. And you just really can't beat the off the line power of an 8.3 in these buses. Off the line and whatever you want to do with it. Down the freeway, you've got the most power available um, for maintaining speed on hills, for passing people. I love driving these buses with 8.3s. They're just, they're just fun. They've got a lot of power. They'll surprise you. Um, the back of the bus is in pretty good shape. Um, the corners of it have just very, very minor scrapes on the back corners of it. Not too bad at all, though. This does have the uh, Allison 3000 series transmission. That's the heavy duty one. Jack will give you a shot of the driver's side rear tires. Again, matching Bridgestone uh, M M799. These are just great looking tires. They're not so knobby that they're going to be really loud and wear funny as they as you drive on them, but they've got just enough tread to help out in, in rough terrain. A um, little bit of uh, scrapage right here, Get a little shot of that. Actually, you know what, Jack, let's go back to the passenger side. I think there was a scrape on the passenger side I forgot to point out. Well, let's check this out just to make sure. Yeah, there is. Yeah. In our uh, rush to get this bus to show, we had these doors propped up, but this bus does have a bit of a scrape right here on the side as well as on the door uh, still operates just fine this door here is in good shape 
but we'll show you. But just something to be mindful of. That is a, um, an infirmity of this bus. Um, again, doesn't really pop out as being an issue because there's, there's so many ribs in the design of the body. It doesn't really pop out as being an issue, but just be mindful that is there. So, um, glad we didn't forget that because we always want to show these buses for what they are. And uh, uh, nothing to hide. So. And if you know you're interested in this bus or any other bus and you want to see any extra photos or details, just, just let us know. No problem to, to grab any extra photos for you or even video. Let's check out the, the driver's side still. Glass is all in good shape. This side's in good shape as well, besides that little minor scuff that we pointed out earlier on the door. Uh, front, the driver's side tire matching Michelin to the passenger side front. Again, great tread. This bus seems to have a lot of life left in it. You're not going to have to do any major things like tires anytime soon, that's for sure. Washington State Patrol 2020 decal. This bus is inspected by our state patrol in, this, uh, in the state of Washington here. And uh, they do a pretty rigorous test, so you can bet that um, it's, a, it's a safe bus. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Thanks a lot for watching. If you have any questions, give us a shout. 800-231-7099 uh, or email us at sales at nwbus.com. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Have a good rest of your day. Yeah.